you want fluffy, decadent mini cheesecakes in no time and with no baking necessary, you are at the right place. I will share with you my easy mini cheesecakes recipe so you can make Kit Kat, Oreo and Nutella mini cheesecakes. This recipe is so versatile that you can use it with dairy or non-dairy ingredients measure for measure and it will be as delicious and easy which makes it the perfect dessert for any holidays like Shavuot and Shabbat. And of course, if you like this kind of content all about simplifying yet leading a more meaningful Jewish life, please consider subscribing. So let's jump into it. In our previous cheesecake video, we used the food processor. So this time I wanted to show you that you can do your cheesecake crust using a rolling pin and a bag or even a mini chopper. Take 20 to 30 Oreos in a bag and crush them with a rolling pin until you reach the consistency you want. The larger the chunks, the more crunch you will have in your cheesecake crust. Reserve 5 heaping tablespoons or 40 grams of finely crushed crumbs for the topping and filling. Put the Oreo crumbs in a bowl and add 6 tablespoons or 90 grams of melted butter. Mix until every crumb is coated with butter, then put it aside. Take 20 graham crackers and pulverize them using your bag and rolling pin method, your mini chopper or your food processor. Reserve 5 heaping tablespoons of or 40 grams of finely crushed crumbs for the topping and filling. Add 5 tablespoons of butter and 2 tablespoons or 38 grams of sugar, then mix everything together. Scrape down the walls and continue until it forms a wet sand consistency. Take your small mason jars and your mold. Here I'm gonna use some straight muffin silicone mold, but you could also use regular muffin tins lined with parchment paper. Mini spring form are also so useful for the Kit Kat mini cheesecake. And these single molds that are higher are perfect for the crust and toppings mini cheesecakes. You are going to pour about two tablespoons or 15 grams of your crumbs per recipient. For the small jars, press the crumb using the end of your rolling pin or any flat surface and make sure that the crumbs are tightly pressed. For the larger space, you can use the bottom of a narrow glass or shot glass. Use a small spoon to press down the edges. And if you see that you are having gaps in your crust, add some crust mixture to your mold and press it down. A pro tip is to put all your mini cheesecake crust in the freezer while you are making the filling. Freezing the crust will make the butter seize up and the filling will not mix with the crust when you will be ready to assemble your mini cheesecakes. In a large bowl, mix two cups or 460 grams of whipping cream, Whisk on high until it forms firm peaks. Then put it aside. In a separate bowl, put 16 ounces or 500 grams of room temperature full fat cream cheese. Add a cup or 120 grams of icing sugar. Then mix everything together. Add one teaspoon or five grams of vanilla extract and continue mixing until it is fully incorporated. Slowly fold the whipped cream to the cream cheese mixture, making sure not to overmix it. This way your mini cheesecakes will be nice and airy. Separate your cream cheese and whipped cream mixture in three bowls to make the different kind of toppings. In the first bowl, add two heaping tablespoons or 30 grams of finely crushed Oreo crumbs and mix it gently. In the second bowl, add three tablespoons or 60 grams of Nutella until it is fully incorporated. And in the third one, leave it plain. Take your Kit Kat and cut them in half or at the height of your container, then set them aside. Now that your cheesecake prep is done, it's time to assemble the mini cheesecakes. Using a spoon, a piping bag or a Ziploc bag, add your different filling in them. I will use the mason jars to show you how to assemble your mini cheesecakes for you to have a better view. 
you would repeat the exact same steps for the muffin molds or mini spring forms. Once that you have filled all your bags, cut the piping bag. For the Oreo mini cheesecake, add the filling, then level it, then add the Oreo crumbs and pat them lightly. Add some filling, then level it, and before serving it, add some whipped cream and a mini Oreo cookie on top. For the Nutella mini cheesecakes, add your filling, level it, then add one heaping tablespoon or 20 grams of Nutella, level it again, then add more filling until the top. But if you want to add more toppings before serving them, fill your jars until the neck of the jar. You can also add some hazelnuts on top before serving them. For your mini Kit Kat cheesecake, start with a dab of filling in the middle. And if you did like me and added too much filling, no problem, it will be as good. Add your Kit Kat around the mold or mini spring form, making sure that the top part is facing outside. Add more filling and then your topping. In this example, I just added some pieces of Kit Kats with Oreo crumbs, but you can also add Smarties, which are my children's favorite. Once that you have assembled your mini cheesecake, refrigerate them overnight. You will have the best result that way. But in a pinch, you can refrigerate them six to eight hours. The longer they are refrigerated, the more set they will be. After that period of time, unmold your Easy Mini Cheesecakes. If you cannot unmold your Easy Mini Cheesecake, pop them in the freezer for 30 minutes and then unmold them. It works every time. And voila, you are ready to enjoy this delicious, light and easy mini cheesecakes recipe that is perfect for any holidays like Shavuot and will be an amazing Shabbat dessert. I hope that this video was useful for you. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, a comments below, like, share and subscribe to this channel as it helps us reach more and more people who just like you want to live a simplified yet more meaningful Jewish life. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.